This segment introduces you to the Bridgepoint Verifier tool. The X in XTUML is short for executable and Bridgepoint has this aspect of the method covered using the verifier. You use the verifier to execute any model you create immediately. There is no need to perform a generation or compile step before seeing the results. This means you can see the effect of changes to the model straight away. Verify presents itself in a very similar way to a regular software debugger. It implements the XTUML time and event rules so that the model behavior will be very close to what is expected when the model is translated to source code. Verify has its own perspective, an arrangement of windows that is optimized for debugging activities. There are four main areas that you use when working with Verify. The debug configuration editor, the debug view, the session explorer, and the spotlight view. We'll take a brief look at each in turn now and examine each one in more detail in later segments. The debug configuration editor is used to create and configure which parts of your models you want to run and how you want them to execute. This editor is common to all debugging activities in Eclipse. But for the purposes of Verifier, we are interested only in the XTUML execute application launch type. Once a model has been launched, you see the running component instances in the debug view. If the verifier halts for any reason, you can see a frozen representation of the running model artifacts under each of the component instances in this view. Pending events, messages, and currently executing stack frame information is presented in a tree format here. Whenever Verifier suspends execution, it will locate the activity that was executing at the time, if any, and opens it in an editor for you. From there, you can step or resume execution. The Session Explorer view allows you to explore the instance extents that have been created during the runtime of the model. An instance extent is the set of instances of each class that have been created so far. This allows you to gain an overview of the state of the entire running system. The instance extents are organized under their respective component instances. In addition to providing an overview, the Session Explorer's tree format allows you to drill down to see the detailed values under each instance. The Spotlight is a view that allows instances of different classes to be collected together for simultaneous viewing. Instances that are placed in the Spotlight also highlight their current state on their state machine diagrams for easy debugging and presentation purposes. Finally, there are three additional views which are useful while interacting with Verifier. Breakpoints are useful for halting execution at critical points. Currently set breakpoints are shown in the breakpoints view. Once execution has been halted, the variables view shows the current values of any selected instances and or local variables. You can select different stack frames to see what values are present in each frame. If your model prints progress messages, it is useful to be able to see these in the console view. The console view can also log instance and class state change behavior if this is specified at launch time. More detailed information on all of these views will be found in the following training segments. Thank you for watching.